Big time! Big time! Incredible! Wow, what a miracle heave to finish off the quarter. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Kings lead by 19. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. Danny Granger out there with Beasley. Then it's McDermott. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Collie Stein in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five out there for the Kings. Beasley with a screen on Harris. It's stolen by Harris. Three on three. Here's Parsons. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Parsons got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Mavs. McDermott with it. He's against Williams. Nice shot by McDermott. And the Kings lead by 19. Now here's Williams. Defense is right there. Parsons sets a screen for Williams. McDermott with a steal. Here's Collie Stein. Second chance shot. And Deep Hardaway drops it in the basket. Defensively, I think they've got to do a better job of bodying them up. Clearly, they've been outclassed in the paint. Really at both ends of the floor. Harris kicks to Matthews. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And when you watch Wes Matthews, you see he's just a fantastic perimeter defender, Clark. He can match up well at either the two or the three. His combination, Kevin, of length and strength and lateral movement make him an outstanding defensive player. Outside Hardaway. Shot from 16. And it's Hardaway again missing. Mavericks trail by 19. And for Matthews, you know, he knows that he's a strong defender. And so last year, his claim was that he was the best two-way shooting guard in the NBA. Beasley with a screen on Williams. Kicks it to Granger. Now here's McDermott, guarded by Harris. Clock at four. From deep, it's rebounded by Dallas. Listen, he has a chance to be considered the best two-way player at his position and, and not sure if he is the clear-cut winner of that debate, but he is in the conversation. And the call will be against Darren Williams. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there, and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Beasley kicks to McDermott. Back to Beasley. And he gets it to go. I love the killer instinct he shows right there, exploding to the rim to add to the lead. Here's Williams. Matthews, a screen on Hardaway. Williams passes to Matthews. Rebounded by Granger. Kings leading now by 19. And now the Kings pass break. McDermott can't get it to go. The Mavericks have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Matthews, no good. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Beasley dishes to McDermott. From the baseline. Parsons with some nice D. Mavericks trailed by 19. Deflects the pass. Beasley with the steal. The finish. The coast to coast dunk. Almost intimidating the defense there. They didn't even try to get back on defense. Well, I don't think it would have mattered even if they did try to get back, Greg. I mean, there was no way anybody was going to beat him to the bucket there. 
Williams against Hardaway. To the middle. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Yes, that sir. gives him the double-double. 10 points and 15 rebounds. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. And Parsons kicks to Harris. Passes it to Baines. Wesley Matthews on the wing. They set the screen. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Hardaway kicks to Cauley Stein. Here's Beasley. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Williams gets the bucket. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with him. Kings leading now by 19. Hardaway with it. And Michael Beasley picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And Hardaway gets it to go. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for the Mavericks. That's the epitome of teamwork right there, Kevin, on the alley-oop. Clark, what about the finish bringing it down with some thunder? Yeah, lightning, yeah. too. But, guys, the pass <laughs> for me, even better. He absolutely put that on a platter for him. He kicks to Baines. They set the pick, and Williams, here we go. And he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. How about the screen that frees him up, though, for the jumper? The Kings have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. And here's Russell. Three-pointer. The shot no good. Williams with the defensive effort. The feed to Baines. No luck. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Now here is Russell. Pass to Randall. Shot high post. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. For Dallas, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Outside Matthews to the inside, Nowitzki, and he uses the glass on the layup. Nowitzki's got 25 points. Well, for one, he hasn't let him down. I mean, but a few other guys need to pick up the pace if they're going to be good. You know, another point of contention between every NBA fan is, is whether or not the age restriction is a good thing. Some want it increased, others want it gone altogether. Uh, you know, for me, it's a matter of whether or not you as a team feel that that player can make an impact on your roster. Williams against Russell. Outside Williams. And it's off the back rim. No good. Sacramento leading by 23. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It goes on Chandler Parsons. Yeah, when you think of Kid Gilchrist, one thing that comes to mind is intangibles. He has a desire and intensity and a will to win that elevates him to elite status. Yeah, you know, he never will be a great shooter. And he's still working on his jump shot. But the intangibles, you talked about it. You add heart and tenacity to that. Every team wants a guy like that. And Williams, here we go. The kick out to Matthews. There's a screen. With the fadeaway. It's hauled in by the Kings. Kid Gilchrist has got his sixth rebound on the night. And talking about Kid Gilchrist, yes, he's worked to fix his shooting form last season. 
but the real improvement was made on the board. He averaged seven and a half rebounds a game in only 29 minutes of play. That is outstanding. Here's Nowitzki, offensive rebound. For Sacramento, they've gone eight of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. From 18 feet away, the shot by Moreland, no good. And for Kid Gilchrist, he was accustomed to so much winning in high school, college, international competition. He's had a rough first three years in the NBA making the playoffs only once in that time. But he's a real warrior, so that has to be killing him inside. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Kid Gilchrist has got six here in this quarter. Dallas shooting 40% in the fourth. Williams against Russell. A clear look for Parsons. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. Williams passes to Matthews. They double him with Russell. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Russell. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Shot to stop the run. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Parsons' shot is off. Not good shot selection. Long range and a defender all up in your jersey. And you know, that's just the kind of defensive work he's known for. I mean, he can take that shot away from you and does it more times than not. Kid Gilchrist got space. Parsons with the rebound. Parsons got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Dishes it to Williams. The pass to Nowitzki. No good. In and out. Off the rim. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Russell dishes to Randall. 144 left in the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Aaron Bain. And that'll be his third foul so far. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And stolen by Felton. And counted two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And Greg, to be able to take the bump like that and maintain control, that's not easy to do. I know you're kind of a little fella, but I was a big guy when I played, so I know how difficult that is. That was impressive. I see. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Looking at the game for Kid Gilchrist. Eight rebounds and two steals. He's shown some flash with his passing and some grit with his board work. Yeah, not a combination that too many players in our league possess. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Well, we all know that number one overall picks are incredibly valuable. I mean, they can change the course and face of an entire franchise. Last season, the playoffs were full of teams that featured number one overall picks. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Kings. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just uh, at times seen toying with them. Yeah, like Ordering. watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin. Quite yeah. honestly, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do. And the one thing that stood out about these guys all season long, their resiliency to come out and play hard and win games. We've watched some epic battles that they've played, and tonight will mark their 64th win in the year. Something else. And in this era of unparalleled parity, it takes a lot to sweep an opponent in four straight games. But that's exactly how they finished off their season series tonight against the Mavericks. You see the contributions from role players on the team, and what a game it was for Russell. You can do a lot to change a game other than scoring, and it was his quick hands on the defensive end that put them in the driver's seat. Lock at six. Here's Powell. Sacramento grabs the miss. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. They poured it on tonight, Clark. A dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't 